It's coming around. Oh, it's it's stopping. We got a car coming up behind it. Oh, it's continuing. Nope, we're bailing. Oh no, it's still going. What's going on everybody? I have a Tesla Model 3 here. We are on version 10. This is the early release and we're gonna check out some of the features. Uh, so first of all, is this hardware 3.0? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got hardware 3.0. Um, so let's quickly go through these release notes and then we'll look at these different features. So we have Cuphead, a new game for the arcade. We do have uh, Enhanced Summon, Smart Summon. You know, Elon's always switching what he's talking about. So we're gonna check that out. Tesla Theater, uh, this is now Netflix, YouTube, and then some tutorials from Tesla. Um, if you wanna read any of this, just pause the video. I don't wanna you know, read all of this to you, but you can check that out. Uh, karaoke, so it's just like karaoke, but in your car, uh, you can sing songs and it'll you know, show you the words. Uh, the driving visualizations have been improved. Uh, you've seen that in some other videos and stuff on Twitter, where now you can actually zoom in and zoom out uh, in this area over here to see more of what's going on. During automatic lane changes, again, the visualization has been updated. Your car will show you uh, where it's going to go in the lane. Some map improvements, uh, feeling lucky, is it'll take you to a random destination. And for now, it's like really random, but Elon has said this will improve over time, the places it takes you. And same thing with Hungry, it'll take you to... Is it a random restaurant or does it take you, does it suggest restaurants? So I haven't actually tried that one okay. yet. So we're going to try it. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And then this is awesome. Actually, these little things like to improve quality of life, I think are some of the coolest things like over the games and stuff. Map improvements. So you can just call businesses. You can get directed straight to them from the map. I always got confused because you see stuff on the map and you try to click it and it doesn't do anything. And now uh, I guess you can do that. Sentry mode. This is huge for me because most people probably don't check all their sentry footage but making videos, I'm always looking for those funny clips or whatever, and I have to go through everything. And now I'll have separate folder for my sentry mode videos. For other people, you can just go in there and delete everything. If nothing's wrong with your car, you probably don't care. Joe mode, this will make your dinging, like when you turn autopilot on and different warnings and stuff like that, it'll make them quieter. Um, and it was originally designed for uh, kids, like for parents, it wouldn't disturb their kids while they were sleeping, but I know the second I get that, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm always gonna have it on. Some of the stuff on the application launcher has been rearranged, so it's supposed to be more convenient. So let's check out all these different features. So let's check out the new launcher here. So these things are just in a different order. Not all that exciting, um, but that's good. Um, well, the call used to be way over here. And so I would pull right. it up and it's like, you would have to try and go find it. Right, when you're driving. Oh, I want the arcade. Is that not in here? It is in Toy Box and it's right there. Oh, so they moved that because they used to have arcade. Yep. And now that's not in the training. And now that, they that have arcade sense. and theater at the top. Do you see that? So now we have the entertainment tab. So that's where we are now. And in this window, you have your arcade and your theater. So there could be other tabs too in the future. They could add mm -hmm. some other stuff. Um, so really quick, let's just look at Cuphead. We don't have a controller, so I don't think... Oh, thank you. So I don't think you can play it, um, but I think we should be able to start the game at least. Come You've on. never noticed it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is hilarious. It looks all like old timey. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's like copyrighted. Okay, so yeah, we can't even play this because we don't have a controller. So that's unfortunate, but no big deal. Now how do we get out of here? Okay, right there. We can check out theater really quick. Okay, so if we look at Netflix, we can just really quickly um, check something out. Okay, this is great. So can you adjust volume from the steering wheel? No. So you can't adjust volume from the steering wheel. You have to do it here. So we'll mute it because I don't want to get copyrighted. Like I'm always worried about that in these videos. Um, so if we look at friends, click that, and we're on LTE right now. We're not actually on um, a Wi-Fi network, which is just for the beta. Uh, when you get out of the beta, you'll have to use your Wi-Fi network for this. So there it is, full screen. But it works great. Yeah. Yeah, I was pulling up, I was actually pulling up yours too. So like the... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's check out YouTube. So that's Netflix, full screen, looks great. It sounds good too when you turn, yeah. you know, have the radio on and stuff. Okay. So I'm signed, I was signed in here already. Okay. But. So here's YouTube. So these are not dedicated apps so much as they are um, just web pages through Chromium is what I've been reading online. All right, cool. So there's my channel. But yeah, if we go to. So it's fast too, right? Yeah, this is loading like really fast. And again, this is LTE. Yep. And. Again. All right. So it's a couple. They have of ads too. Oh, good. Good for me. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> you um, so we'll mute that just because that's annoying. And then can we skip them? 
Yeah. So yeah. skippable. That's awesome. And more ads pop up from the bottom. Okay. When you scroll down? No, just when you're on the video. Oh, when you're on the, oh, these pop-up ads. Yeah. Just like on the phone. Okay, yep. that's interesting. And then we can try full screen really quick, or we can just end the whole video. <laughs> that was so funny. That truck, like, almost hit those guys. He was such a jerk. <laughs> He's flicking them off. It's so funny. Um, so, yeah, there's full screen. It looks really good. Um, and, yeah, that's loading crazy fast. Yeah. Especially being on the LTE, I'm really surprised. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's awesome. I mean, for a supercharger stop, I personally don't see Netflix so much because the superchargers are so fast now, but definitely YouTube, just watching a couple of videos really quick. Mm -hmm. Um, or if you need tutorials or whatever. So that's awesome. Okay. So pause that. We can X out of the whole app. Okay. Very cool. And then the tutorials, those are the same that are on Tesla's website. So I don't think we really need to look at those, but if you're new to Tesla, you can learn how to do whatever on your car through, um, it just goes to their website. So, yeah, I'm not going to wait for that to load. So here's karaoke. You get to... Have you done this? I have. Okay, do you want to do it real quick and well, show Well, so us? I did it when I was driving. Okay. And so they didn't show us any of the words. Oh, so this okay. is the first time I've done it, uh, hopefully seeing the words. Okay. But it, I wonder if it's going to trip for... Uh... It will. Okay. So I'll mute it. <laughs> um, so we can turn it down. But we want to see the words at least. Bohemian Rhapsody. Born and raised in South Detroit. That's perfect. There is no South Detroit for anybody <laughs> watching and doesn't know that. There's no such thing. Yep. So when you're driving, okay. mm -hmm. it plays the song. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't show you this. Okay. And not all the words are in there. So you still have to sing the words. Right. You just don't see them. Okay. That's very cool. So if I put it in drive really quick, it got rid of it, but it is still playing the song. Okay. So if we're in Netflix. <laughs> So it got confused and yeah, so it'll X you out of whatever you're doing if you go to drive. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here are the new menu options up top. If we click hungry, let's see what happens. Oh, so it just shows us something close. Leo's Coney Island. I wonder if it'll keep... Awesome. So it just picks something random nearby. That's, that's actually pretty nice. Especially when you're trying to decide, you're like arguing, don't want to go somewhere, you do. Um, and Lucky, have you tried Lucky? So let's click Lucky. Oh. Okay. That's weird. So it just takes you somewhere random. I thought it wouldn't tell you where it was going to take you. Mm. And Hit it again and see if it comes up with something different. Yeah. Pine Knob. So it wants us to go skiing. So 20 miles away. So that's interesting. I assume anywhere it takes you would be within range of your car. Michigan Escape. Oh, that's kind of cool. So like something fun to do. The first one was just like a street though, wasn't it? I don't even know what this is. Like that, I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> Check it out. Later. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So feeling <laughs> feeling lucky. Navigation is already like helping us out here. Okay, so here's Joe mode. We're gonna try it. Have you noticed sometimes you can turn on um, autopilot in parking spaces? If you go into drive, in hold mode, take your foot off the brake. So yeah, I can't see the space now. Oh, like if we were in the space behind us, maybe. Um, sometimes it's not very reliable. But it's maybe like 60% of the time. See how it's seeing the lines right yeah. there? So we can turn on autopilot. Look at that. The so before, in my car, it would not show the line brakes. It's a more realistic representation of the lane lines. And so it's seeing those brakes in between the parking spaces. So if I turn on autopilot really quick. Okay, we start going. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to try that again. Thank you so much. And we're going to have Joe mode enabled a little bit quieter uh kind of hard to tell actually for me how about you yeah it, it could be even quieter yeah yeah that wasn't that different but I mean technically I could tell so let's make sure we're not missing anything Joe mode reduces the volume of your car's chimes quieter chimes continue to alert the driver okay so exactly what we thought okay so we're going to check out enhanced summon so you're in right now you're in the normal summon screen right yep so normal summon is still available Right down here, yep. Okay, so you can just do the same thing you've always done. Correct. All right, so to do Enhanced Summon, go ahead and show us. So there's the map. Yep. So the car is the mm -hmm. red icon. I'm yep. the blue. Okay. And so you've got two options. It can You just push come to me, mm -hmm. and it'll come to you in the blue. What you'll see here, let me see, I can't zoom in anymore. That's okay. There's a little blue line. Yeah. You can barely see it. Or up here to the top right, you can hit these crosshairs, mm -hmm. and then you can move it anywhere on the map, All right. and then it'll make... It should make another blue line. See that? Oh, that's, that's the path. That's the path, right. Okay. And then you hit go to target and it just goes. All right. Let's try it out. 
So you have to hold that the whole time. Yeah, you hold it the whole time. So for some reason it wanted to back up. Yeah. You'd be able to get it. Uh, okay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Nobody's in there. That is ridiculous. Oh, I like that license plate too. Yep. Sorry guys, I had to censor the license plate, but it's a sweet one. <laughs> but then what's nice is that what we can do here is I'll go back out. It's going to connect to the vehicle again just to show it. I'm going to hit advanced summon again. And now I'm going to just bring it to me. Okay. It might back it up the whole way. Oh, okay. Or it might actually do a turn and come all the way around. All right. I've been at places where it'll just back up yeah. the whole way to me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you said you use this all the time. I do. You love it. I do. It's it's good. You think it's good? Uh, it's good. There are still a couple complications. Okay. Um, but generally, Look at that. it's it's awesome. I I've unparked it from my garage, drove mm -hmm. it down my street in front of my neighbor's house, okay. and brought it all the way back backwards, and then back up through my garage. Wow. People don't be mad. Some people get mad when you do it on a street. So uh, it was a private road. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. It pulled up right here. And you can see nobody's in there. That is wicked. All right, do you mind trying it if we put it in like a normal situation? Could we park it a little closer? Oh, I know it'll work. And bring it to us? I guarantee you it'll work. I do it at my work all yeah. the time. Let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. The let's people want to see a real life application. Okay, so you can see the car is right there and it wants to go all the way around towards Meyer and then come to us. So we're not gonna do that because it's not a very sensible route. Actually, it's technically the legal route though. It is. You're not supposed to drive through the lines. Now maybe, I wonder <laughs> if I pour, pull it forward. Um, Whatever you wanna do. If it, like one space, yeah. see what it does. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is extreme torture test. Maybe not that extreme, but it's a test. Thank you. So there's another car we're going to have to interact with here. Nope. They kept going. So it looks like it's checking for traffic. <laughs> that is so weird. It's so human-like. It's coming around. Oh, it's, it's stopping. We got a car coming up behind it. Oh, it's continuing. Nope, we're bailing. Oh no, it's still going. This person's gonna be like, what the hell? This person's, this person is about to be so confused. <laughs> no, they don't even notice. How could you? So we ended up bailing on that one because the owner's phone moved to a new location. So the car dynamically changed its route to get to the owner. So that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, one more go? Yeah, I mean, I'm good. Okay, take two. I'm gonna hold the phone. Uh, here's our route, but we wanna see the car. And the owner is gonna monitor. So the car is thinking. Okay, let me move here. There you go. So the owner is ready to take over in case they're not comfortable with what the car is doing. Okay, so going around the curb again. We don't have any cars to interact with this time. Checking. It's making sure there's no cars coming. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but it's so weird to watch the car do this. Taking its sweet time. And it was on the correct side of the road there. I don't know if that was just a coincidence. Another random stop. Oh, it says disconnected from vehicle. Reconnect. Connecting. Let's continue. Come to me. All right. Another random disconnect, but here comes the car. Right up to plug my car. And there it is. It's happy with that. That worked great. That was awesome. That's the first time I've taken it like that, though. Around. Yeah. Because, well, actually, you know what? That's huh. the first time it recognized the uh, 
the street line. The, the, the yeah. Parking. So I've done it before okay. in, in like a Buffalo Wild Wings mm -hmm. and it drove right through the parking lot. This is the first time that oh. it recognized coming all around the line. Okay, okay. That's good. Did it the right way. Right. And it seemed to stay on the correct side of the road, except for this last little part right here. Yeah. It was on the, no, it was on the correct side. The it, whole time it, it was basically on the right side. Was. What was okay. also nice is mm -hmm. how it stopped right over here. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, Where it stopped, to check. Right, and it had plenty of clearance around the curb because I was, you know, worried about it hitting the curb. Yeah, yeah. There was plenty of room. Okay. Yeah. Wow, very cool. All right, so we're heading out. We're going to check some of these new autopilot visualizations. One of the main things I got asked, which I thought was really interesting, you know, when you're, so it's got the truck, even though the truck has the cover. That was a question I had. So it knows that's a pickup, even though it has a cover. That's crazy. Yep, that's where we're heading. Okay, so this is really double cool. Double lines over here. See yep. that? Yep, that's new. So we got double lines going through the light. Very cool. Look at all the, the traffic coming yes, towards me. Yes, that is amazing. Every once in a while, it used to maybe get one car, uh, but now it's like getting everything very accurately. Oh my gosh, that is like, looks so futuristic. Dancing cars, have you noticed, do they still? They do, they okay. do still dance. Still dance, all right. I don't care, but people are so always worked up about that. No, I'm not too worked up about that. Okay. But this is perfect, okay. So cool. Oh, uh, well, here, let me take it off just so you can see the lines. Okay. See, that is awesome. So it's it's denoting the dash lines versus the solid lines. And then in autopilot, it's solid just to kind of tell you it's an autopilot. Right, but when you're on the expressway, it goes back to the single line in the middle. So here's the zooming. Very cool. And you know what I'm noticing just coming straight from my car is all of these kind of visualizations with the other cars are a lot smoother. Mm. In my car, they're very kind of jumpy and harsh. Yeah. Here, everything is so much smoother. And it'll also show people walking on like the sidewalk up here. You see that sidewalk? That far? It'll pick it up that far away, people wow. walking. Make sure they can, yeah, they can see this up. Wow. And then another question I, I have is not, when I drive this road, which I'm very familiar with, my car always goes into the left turn lanes here. So let's see if it does it. No. Okay. I mean, it doesn't always, but I would say like maybe 60% of the time, my car's veering into those left turn lanes. So I've noticed a little bit more, like when you're talking about this lane right here, yes, yes. it does a better job of using that right hand yes. line to keep you straight. Well, that's what I was frustrated with me is it has, you know, a point of reference that hasn't disappeared. We want to see if it's going to put that square behind it because our car should want to get behind them with an automatic lane change. So right. yeah, that's good. Right that's here. perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so it puts that, you can cancel it if you want. So it puts the little animation just right under his car. <laughs> and, it did, and it didn't slow me down to get, usually when I'm the, on the expressway, right. it will slow me down to yeah. put him behind it. Right, um, it didn't, I noticed here it, it didn't do that. that. So that's weird. Oh, now it thinks it's a truck because <laughs> it's a convertible. Oh, that's pretty funny. And yeah, we don't have a whole ton of traffic to look at, unfortunately, but that's okay. When I mean, you get the idea, I'll, I'll post some pictures of this too. Um, you sent me some nice pictures that I can, you know, show people with. And any turnaround that you want to take is fine with me. All right, I'll get this one. This is not a turnaround. All right, guys, there's a clean Tesla for you. And there's a dirty Tesla. So that's version 10. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll uh, ask the owner if I don't know the answers. And I'll get back to you in the comments.